Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would Hello friends and welcome back to another weekly Australian grocery haul and meal plan I hope you're all having a fantastic week and if you are new here my name is Katrina I'm an Australian mum with two young kids and I like to share our weekly Australian grocery haul here on this channel every single week and I also like to share meal prep videos and what's for dinner videos and all things food over here so if you love that kind of content I would absolutely love it if you could stick around hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notifications to all so that you do not miss any future uploads from me. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into the meal plan. I'll let you know what we are having for dinner this week and then I'm going to go ahead and unpack these groceries and let you know what we got in the grocery haul. So on Monday night, we are going to be having chicken Alfredo pasta bake. I went ahead and meal prepped three of these over the weekend and I am so pumped about it because it's going to make it so easy to just throw one of those in the oven from the freezer for about an hour, hour and a half, um, depending on whether I keep it covered or not. And it is just going to be so, so simple that night. And I also still have an extra one as well in the freezer for another week. So I'm so stoked about that. Then on Tuesday night, we're going to be having a fish with sheet pan vegetables. Wednesday night, we're going to be having chicken with sheet pan vegetables Thursday night we are having a pesto pasta with mixed greens and I just want to mention for all these meals I didn't buy much dinner ingredients in this week's grocery haul because we have done a couple really large grocery hauls the last couple weeks over $300 or just on $300 I think so I need to go ahead and cook up a bunch of stuff that is in our freezer including a lot of vegetables that we prepped and um, just a lot of like bags of frozen veggies so that is why we have a couple nights of the sheet pan vegetables there and just fish and chicken are just like crumbed things that we have in the freezer as well so I'm really trying to use up things that we have in the pantry in the freezer this week so that is what all of this is about on this meal plan and then on Friday night we're going to be having cheesy cauliflower and broccoli bake with chicken pies on Saturday night we're going to be having some ravioli bolognese and then on Sunday night we're going to be having leftovers so that is everything that is on our meal plan this week I'm going to go ahead and get into the grocery haul now so if you are new here we do like to play a little game here on this channel where if you want to go ahead and guess how much you think this grocery haul costs my family or for this week go ahead and leave that in the comments down below before the end of the video I will let you know at the end how much the groceries cost but it's always so interesting to me to know what you think especially if you're not living in Australia it is really hard to guess the price of these grocery hauls but go ahead and do that if you like so we're just going to go ahead and get into the haul now so I did go ahead and grab the usual white low GI bread that I love and I also needed to stock up on some uh, hand soaps then I also went ahead and grabbed two bottles of this lemon and lime mineral water for my partner these were only a dollar too so they are super cheap when they're on special I grabbed a whole bunch of cereals this week we'd run out of almost everything in the cupboard and my toddler was getting a little bit hangry about his cereal not being there so I went ahead and got him this messy monkeys chop crunch cereal that he loves this one's super expensive compared to other cereals except it is a four and a half star health rating so I don't mind paying the extra dollars for that and then I've also gone ahead and grabbed these fruity bites in the wild berry flavor my toddler has never had these but they had a four star health rating so I thought that you know that's pretty good for cereals a lot of them are around the two star that aren't that great so I definitely thought I would give them a try and see how he likes them then I went ahead and grabbed his usual Milo cereal nine times out of ten this is the one he goes for and that is a four star health rating as well so I don't mind buying that one either I grabbed some of my cereal which is just the just right and then I've also gone ahead and grabbed these now this definitely I don't even think they oh they do have a star rating so it's two and a half star I knew these wouldn't be good for you but these are new at Woolworths and I am so so excited to try them. I'm pretty sure I've seen these in US grocery hauls and I'm so jealous. But these are the Cine Minis Churros Cinnamon Crunch Cereal. They look amazing. They sound amazing. And I'm so excited to try those. If you've had these before, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. I've also had to grab some smooth peanut butter for my youngest. She doesn't eat the crunchy peanut butter yet. So I had to grab a big one of those. Now that is on special this week actually, but the smaller jar. But I just wanted to say, don't be fooled. If you ever see the smaller peanut butters on special, 
you'll definitely go ahead and look at how much they cost per 100 grams. I can almost guarantee that every time that the smaller one's gone special, doesn't matter what size it is, this larger one, which is the largest one you can get, will always, always be cheaper in the end. So definitely um, don't get fooled by those specials because I have in the past and um, a lady actually pointed it out to me in the shopping center and I'm grateful for that because now I just refuse to buy any of the smaller ones no matter what. I always get this large one because it is always going to be a saving. Then I've grabbed this roll of 25 of the just the blue chuck swipes just for under the sink when I need them. And then I've also grabbed a little jar of this coconut oil here. I like to bake with coconut oil rather than like butter or olive oil and things like that. It's, I don't know about the health benefits, whether they're good or bad. I'm so, um, Google's so up and down on that. I used to think it was really good and a better alternative, but now I'm reading a lot that it's not so good, but you know, I'm just used to it now. I just grabbed a small jar this time though, just in case I do go ahead and do some more research on that and find out that it's no good, then I don't, I'm not going to be stuck with like this huge jar. I've gone ahead and grabbed two one liter full cream of this long life Devondale milk. We do sometimes go over our two liter milk that we buy every week for the fridge. So I like to have these in the cupboard just in case, just so we don't have to run back to the store just for milk. I like to have these on hand. I've gone ahead and grabbed it myself one of these 200% caramel Mars bars. These are amazing. I'm obsessed with Mars bars anyway, but this one is so good. It's basically just filled with caramel through the whole bar and it's amazing. Then I've also grabbed two pouches of this apple, pear and cinnamon porridge for my 18 month old just for quick easy sides with her breakfast. I've grabbed some wholemeal crumpets here. They were $1.85 this week. I'm pretty sure they were half price. I've also grabbed some 4 and 20 Angus Aussie beef pies. Now they were half price as well, $5 a pack. They're normally $10 a pack, which is super expensive if you ask me for pies because you can get really cheap pies. I think my partner gets there, I think it's $4 for a packet of six large pies. So these, this brand is super expensive, but they are really, really tasty and the beef is better in my opinion. So when they do go half price, I do like to grab a packet of those for the freezer, sometimes two packs, but you only wanted one. So I just went ahead and grabbed those. Then I've also got our A2 two liter light milk there. And I also went ahead and grabbed some sachets. We were running low on the decaf cappuccino sachets. So I grabbed two boxes of those. And I also grabbed one box of the cappuccino strong for the mornings. And then I have the decaf in the afternoon. I also went ahead and grabbed a couple boxes of these Belvida chocolate biscuits. Me and the kids absolutely love these for breakfast on the side of whatever else we're having. I love having them with my coffee and they were, I think they were only a dollar off. So they weren't quite half price this week, but they were still discounted. So I went ahead and grabbed two boxes of those. I grabbed two packets of these chicken instant two minute noodles. These are a dollar for a pack of five, super cheap. And they taste no different to the other ones that you can get at Woolworths. So we always just use those ones. Then I also did grab these Easy Mac in the cheesy chicken for my toddler though. He absolutely loves those ones. So I I do like to give him that for lunch sometimes. I grabbed us just another one of these butters. They were down from $8 to $6 this week. So that's a good saving on those because these butters cost an absolute fortune. And then I've also grabbed some snacks this week. So other than fruit, which I will get to in a minute, I grabbed these mini rice cakes. I got two packets of the ones with triple berry yogurt on it. And I got two packets of the dark chocolate covered ones. These were discounted this week. I don't think they were half price either, but they were about a dollar, dollar fifty off. So I grabbed those because they can be quite expensive too when you're buying them a lot at full price and my kids just love them. So I'm always buying those ones. And then I saw these, these were down to $2 a bag. They were half price. And I'm actually surprised at the size of these that were there. I thought they'd be more like a lot smaller, like these and more of like a single serve, but these ones are, I definitely think they could be a few servings and they looked interesting. They look healthier than just normal chips. So I thought I would grab those as like a little treat to go on the side of like my kids' sandwiches or fruit and things like that at lunchtime. I just thought it would give them a little bit of crunch and something interesting to have other than these and just see how they go with them. I also wanted to try them out for myself too. So they're just tortilla veggie chips and I've got them in the chickpea flavor, the green pea flavor and the lentil and beetroot flavor. So I'm interested to see how they are. Uh, I will let you know in the comments down below what I thought of them if they were any good but fingers crossed about that because I'm always all for healthier alternatives to anything really and then of course for fruit this week I kept it super simple we still have a whole bunch of apples in the fruit bowl so I've just grabbed a bunch of bananas here and also two punnets of strawberries 
So that is everything that is in this week's weekly Australian grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and pause the video and leave a guess of how much you think this week's grocery haul cost my family of four in the comments down below. I would love to know what you think, but this week's groceries cost $150.35. So pretty much bang on 150, which is perfect for our budget. So if you did guess anything near 150, you were totally right. Thanks so much for playing along. I really hope that you are all having a fantastic week this week and I hope you'll have a really good day today. Thanks again for clicking on my video and watching. I hope you have gone ahead and given it a thumbs up if you liked it and also go ahead and subscribe if you are new here. I would absolutely love to have you here and to stick around for next week's videos. So hopefully I will see you all back here again really soon. Bye. The memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the